I am a morning person, and I am always in a really good mood in the mornings, but sometimes, clap if you have, like, teenagers. Clap. Anybody have teenagers? Um, you know, sometimes your teenagers can put you just in a bad mood. You start out in a good mood. And so my son, Jeffrey, put me through it this morning. I was in a good mood when I woke up. I get up about 4.45, 5 in the morning. And um, the bus is supposed to come get him at 6.30 to take him to school. So he sets his clock to get up at 5.45 a.m. every day to get ready. But because it was a holiday yesterday, he did not put the alarm back on the clock. So he overslept. I didn't hear the shower, so I was just like, let me go wake Jeffrey up, be the nice mom. So I knocked on the door. I'm waiting for him to say, come in. I knocked again, and, if, you know, he was grumbling something. So I, I walk in, and I said, Jeffrey, you know, you're supposed to get up. And he goes, why did you, why are you wake me up right now? <laughs> and I said, because you overslept. He said, I know, I know what time I set the clock. And going back and forth, he said, I set it for 545. I said, Jeffrey, it's 550, so you have to get up. And he's just like, you, you didn't have to wake me up. And, you didn't... <laughs> and I said, I don't know who you think you're talking to. <laughs> like, I was, I was so shocked. I was just like, and he was just, and he just called himself going off, you know, feeling himself a little bit. <laughs> Himself going off, and I said, Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start charging you rent. Yeah, you need to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cause see, you talking to me like I'm the landlord over here, and you trying to not pay your rent. So you gonna start paying some rent. I, but you know, and but I had to get ready to go to go uh come to work. And I just said one thing to him, I said, we're gonna take care of this tonight. That's what we're gonna do. You know that thing? What do you we, when I get back home from work, that's when you was get scared of your parents when they go, when I get home from work. <laughs> but see, Jeffrey never really gave me these problems. So when I said we're gonna take care of this tonight, I thought it was I was gonna see the shiver. He was like, okay. <laughs> Cause he, we never had this issue before. I don't know what it is when boys get a certain age, they start feeling themselves. And, I, you know, they, and that's when they want to buck up. And it's especially when you're a single mom, they want to buck up and you got to, like, let them know that uh, you, I'm the bucky. You're not bucking up <laughs> on me. I don't care if I do have to look up him up, and, you know, I got to look up at him. But, I, but I, when I thought about it, uh, when I was coming to work, I said, well, girls do it too. You know, we buck up against our mothers. We get the, the moment we get our boobs, they start, park, you know, popping out. We just get a different attitude. We start feeling ourselves. I think the moment I got a bra that hooked up, I was like, yeah, I'm grown. I can hook up my own bra. <laughs> and now I know what my mother went through because my mother used to go off on me all the time because I thought I knew everything. That's the thing with teenagers. They always think they knew everything. And, and, and I, when I thought about Jeffrey, because he put me in such a bad mood, right up until this door, I was praying to be in a better mood. But, uh, uh, mm -hmm. and I remember my being younger, like, thinking I knew everything and my mother just going off on me. You know that good going off when your mother got to go off on you like you're a woman in the streets that she don't know? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And she used to go off on me and she'd be in my face screaming. You know, your mother got to get you, your parents got to get in your face. And she would get in my face that close. And I'd be thinking in my mind, ooh, I hate you so much. Oh, I hate you so much. But I never said it. I never said it. Like, in my mind. And she'd be in my, and it was always, this is my house. This is my thing. And if you don't like it, you can get out. And, and I kept thinking, I would if you get out of my face. <laughs> but I never said it. I never said it. It was always in my head. It was always in my head. And she'd be in, and she'd be in my face going off, and then she'd walk out and look at me that one time, and then I'd slam the door. You don't slam doors. You don't slam doors in your house. I slammed that door, and I could hear her running up the stairs. <laughs> when you hear your parents running up the stairs in slow motion, you already know you in trouble. And she came, and that's when she ripped all my sheets off the bed and told me she was putting me out. And I was just like, I didn't even do nothing. So <laughs> I thought about it. Then I started crying because I was so mad I couldn't say anything. And I said, because that's, you remember, you ever said, I used to scream, oh, when I get, when I get 18, I'm 15, wait, I get out of here. Oh, my gosh. But I, so I thought about it. I said, yeah, Jeffrey, he's smelling himself. So I got to, I got to let him know the only smell in this house is his mama. Just so you got. <laughs> <laughs> so he made it on time. He, he made the bus on time, so we're good. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna 